Greetings to my Honorable Judy. Today I, Asta, am very glad to share my views on the topic Power of Proximity. Jim Rohn once said that we are the averages of five people whom we spend the most time with. But what if those five have no ambition in their life? What if those five are dragging us down? Now, many people will deny the fact, but researchers have been proven that a person is mostly affected by its environment. There's an old pro that reads that show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are. Well, these statements are not entirely true for each and every person out there. But we firmly believe that one can and outperform others. By presuming this, we assume that we should surround ourselves with intentions. Intentions of being remain the same or intentions which drag yourself to the another level. Guys, it's been like if we are the averages of five people, but what if those five are living a purposeless life? How can we get around the static? For this, find coaches, find many mentors, find many role models. Create as soon as good books. This is how you are spending your life in a much more better way. And this will definitely influence your life in one way or the other. Now, there are many, many big businessmen which want to be the successful and the hardest worker in the room. But what if that they are the only hardest worker like all the times? This won't help anyone grow. And trust me, if a person is not growing, it's just time. So surround yourself with people who are better than you in one way or the other. Likewise, the great competition brings out the great players. Similarly, great people brings out the best version of yourselves. Not because they are going to give the handouts, but seeing them at the top will force you to preach up to the same. They say that misery loves company, so do success. But the difference is that success loves successful company. See, in this huge, diverse, suspicious world, people will either inspire you to be great or they're going to drag the hell out of your life. So choose carefully. Get around with the people who share positivity. But don't expect a positive change in your life if you surround yourself with the people who always share negative thoughts. With people who always find a reason that why a thing can't be done. Guys, if you wanted to achieve success, then surround yourself with dream chaser. Surround yourself with people who have aim in their life, who want to set a benchmark in the society, who want to make a move in the world. The more you learn to become like them, the more you'll preach like them. But for this, you really need to cut some negativity from your life and that won't be easy. But guys, at the tone of the table, the question arises that what you want from your life. Friends, negativity. Negativity is just a virus. You really need to get cut it from your life. So move ahead so that you can live a far ahead. Thank you.